Welcome back uh, to Taking Stock. I'm Greg Miles. Well, for all the talk of a banking crisis, shares of Germany's Deutsche Bank are up more than 60 percent in the U.S. and German stock markets since January. As U.S. banks will, they're flat. But Seth Walsh, CEO of Deutsche Bank's Americas Division, says the industry still faces major issues. He joins us now to talk about this from Boston, where he's hosting the second round of the PGA Tour playoffs. Seth, welcome. Thank you very much for having us. You look pretty relaxed for, uh, for an executive who says there are problems in, in the banking industry. <laughs> well, I think, look, there's, there clearly are some problems that are still out there. Having said that, the good news is there's, there's a lot of repairs happened. Um, we're certainly breathing again. I think that the government uh, and, and Treasury have done, the Fed and the Treasury have done a terrific job of, of sort of taking depression off the table and being cre very creative about programs um, that have allowed us to to get to where we are. I think we're we continue to be a bit worried about you know that the, the deleveraging hasn't completely happened. That some of the asset disposals that that still exist out there uh, are are still looming. Uh, and sort of the more you know, the the more you worry. Uh, I suppose I Let's think there's a lot of conversation of late about commercial real estate as the next yes. kind of asset um, de jour. So I want to ask you, by the way, uh, you know, uh, Joseph Ackerman, the CEO of Deutsche Bank, uh, your boss uh, did make an address today, and he did say that, as you point out, that, uh, that we're making good progress. He said on reforming the global banking system, but he stressed the regulation has to be consistent across global markets. Let's listen to what he had to say. The reform of the international financial market system is progressing well. The allegation that it's business as usual is not in accordance with the facts. Even worse, over this discussion, we risk to lose sight of other important aspects. Seth, the key point he was making there was that we've got to have harmonization across markets, the same regulations right. to be effective. The U.S. market right now, do you have the same rules as the, as the European markets, and how difficult is that bridge to gap? Yeah, not at all. First of all, I think uh, uh, Dr. Ackerman is always brilliant, and uh, especially today, as my boss. Um, you're very, but, you're uh, very intelligent uh, executive. Uh, <laughs> there you go. The, um, uh, yeah, I mean, we, look, the industry has wanted harmonization for a long time. We think that this is another opportunity to get it uh, to the extent that we can create a level playing field, you know, sort of everywhere in the world. Uh, we're all global, not all, but we're certainly a, a global institution and uh, proud of our franchises, you know, virtually everywhere in the world. Um, and to the extent that we have one playbook that we, uh, a rule book to go by, that would be terrific. Um, uh, I think that's... The, the reality is, is that's always been hard to get to, uh, and uh, and, I, and I'm not sh we're not sure whether it's going to be the, any different this time. But we certainly think it's again another opportunity to uh, to simplify things kind of around the world. A big issue is commercial real estate. Uh, a lot of people saying they're going to be continuing rising losses uh, for a lot of the major banks in that area. How big of a concern is it for you? Well, I, you know, for us uh, directly on balance sheet, we we don't uh, we're not overly concerned. But in terms I mean, of the industry, market, we're, we're, we are very concerned. Yes, I, look, I think uh, commercial real estate is sort of the asset uh, du jour that everybody's worried about. That's going to happen next. We we do think that uh, there's there are going to be uh, significant issues there. The uh, CMBS market, which is the securitization the securitization market within that world. Uh, has reopened to a certain degree, but has has been largely closed for a long time. It's about 30 percent of the market, the sh of the of the financings uh, are done in that market, and so we can't have a functioning commercial real estate market, with, frankly, without uh, replacing that in some form. Uh, the legacy part of that um, uh, business uh, through the TALF program has been pretty successful. There's been about three billion of of issues that have gone on there. We've done about a third of that. Uh, but we still haven't been able to reopen uh, the new issue market. Um, and uh, One thing sorry, I'm going to ask you, though, related to this, uh, is that you've got the whole issue with commercial real estate, but also do banks have enough capital to deal with uh, future potential losses? You know, U.K. and U.S. regulators recommending that large banks be forced to raise more capital uh, to cover potential risks. Would this uh, pose a real problem if you had to raise too much capital, say, to cover derivatives, uh, make it uneconomic, et cetera, across the banking system? 
Well, look, we think there's going to be winners and losers, and there's certainly uh, folks who are going to have to raise capital. We don't think there's enough capital out there to replace, again, the shadow uh, banking system of 30 percent. Um, uh, the, the market has been pretty open to having capital be raised, and, and there's been a lot of success over the, over the last uh, few months. And there certainly will, should, and will continue to be capital raises. But, you know, the good news is that government has created a lot of programs for the healthy banks to earn their way out of this um, uh, and raise capital through earnings, if you will. Uh, we also think that the FDIC has done a good job of, of, uh, of in a large extent, um, sort of solving, um, uh, curing, if you will, a lot of the, 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 the institutions that are are failing or, or having major troubles and, and have been very creative around how they've, they've brought new capital in uh, with strategic buyers and, and some uh, financial buyers. So, one thing um, that, that's so uh, will there be institutions that fail? Sure. Uh, we, we certainly think that that's going to continue to happen, uh, but that uh, the, the healthy banks have, are a lot healthier today than they were certainly six months ago. Well, how about this? As you know, you guys are proud of the fact you didn't take any TARP money. Uh, but it helped a lot of the uh, U.S. and even global banks. Do you think that you'd be healthier today uh, in a better position financially if you had gotten some, uh, some, some of that aid? No, not at all. We've, we, uh, it, we feel better about our decision, you know, sort of every day. Uh, we, we have always wanted to control our destiny and, and want to be able to run the bank and, and for our clients and for our shareholders in the way that we've, we've been able to. And uh, the, uh, the debt markets have, have, have treated us very well and have always felt uh, that we've been one of the safest credits out there. And so we've been able to finance uh, through this. Uh, and we didn't have to um, uh, delude ourselves or, or kind of give up uh, a bit of our, our freedom, if you will, uh, throughout it. So, um, you know, there wasn't that there weren't some scary days in the first quarter when we all were, um, you know, worried about whether the, uh, the markets would, would, uh, uh, would ever survive. Seth, um, and, uh, Seth we've run yes. out of time. I, want to th I hope we can come back and talk to you in more depth sometime. I'd, I'd love to. Thank you very uh, much uh, for each other. Uh, you have a day. Seth Wall, Seth Wall, the CEO of the Americas for Deutsche Bank. At a